Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So for now, we are having a really good weekend. Not, uh, there is no dump out there. So there is no choppiness out there. So let's see how the market is consolidating. My name is Mike Denkler from Coreon X, and I'm bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems every day to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial or investment advice. So everything just for your education and also for uh, entertainment purposes only. So guys, please smash those likes, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And let's share my screen, push the bell notification all, and let's go to our favorite bubble chart. And as you see, we have nice, nice, uh, just movement. Cardano, Cardano is up almost 13%. Thir uh, Shiba is up 8 Salo 6 Mana Decentralized 4 uh, SVX up 15 Sierra 5 Engine 5 Mina Protocol 4 Nexo 6. So good to see. Also, Sandbox is up. ADA Cardano started to move. So we, we see just few coins are in red. Uh, dot is up six percent so we see coins moving and also bitcoin is back is back the king is back wow fifty thousand so this is huge guys ethereum also started to increase from four thousand uh we went below a, a little bit yesterday but now uh bitcoin is up 3.4 percent so nice um uh, really really nice uh what's going on and we see Yes, we we are still uh, in negative with most of the coins in on a monthly basis, but we see a few coins like Crypto.com, Polygon, uh, Decentraland, and a few of them like Sandbox, Gala are uh, in plus also on a, a monthly basis. So guys, let's check our favorite indicator. What's that? The fear and the crypto fear and the greed index. Now we are back in the fear zone. Uh, yesterday yes it was 16 so that was an extreme low level and let's check the chart so yesterday we were at 16 and also we were at uh, 18 a few days ago so now that was the lowest level 16. also on monday uh, the index showed us uh, 16 and yesterday was 16 as well so good to see that uh, the fear uh, is bottoming out somehow and you know when investors are uh, fearful that's uh, always a good buying opportunity when investors are getting greedy and greediness can last for weeks and months then it's a due for a correction let's go to our next news analysts analysts say bitcoin's open interest wipeout will give way to further upside okay bitcoin's dropped to 42,000 US dollar uh, obliterated, obliterated its open interest and created a large swath of leveraged traders. But analysts say uh, OI open interest resets typically provide great buying opportunities. Okay, so that was the huge reset last week, the huge, huge dump. Open interest wipe uh, will give way to further upside. According to DAFRI uh, Digital, you see that uh, this is the bitcoin price uh, i think uh, uh, the red one and the green one is the open interest and that was a time when the bitcoin price already came down but uh, the open interest still still was uh, really high and then uh, with the huge drop and shakeout uh, uh, last week then uh, open interest uh, reduced to a lower level the 30-day percentage decline in open interest for BTC has reached levels that previously signaled a bottom was forming or wasn't too far out. Range bond trading for BTC until 2022. So we are getting closer to the end of the year. So maybe not too much uh, happening, but the BTC futures open interest, you see this uh, drop, uh, the, this pull down and then a nice accumulation and going up again. Uh, luckily for anybody wanting to accumulate on a weekly basis or at the bottom portion of the current trading range, this is a great setup. Should traders look for continuation of the uptrend? 
Yes, so we are still in uptrend uh, on a weekly basis. So we are still in uptrend. And uh, I think this is the 200 day moving average and this is the 50 day moving average. Overall, BTC is consolidating inside the two key EMEs right now, just like in May 2021. Yes, in May 2021. Uh, continued price stability and consolidation in between these two EMAs will precede new macro uptrend continuation. So the 50 um, and the 200 day exponential moving averaging averages. So we are consolidating between those. Okay, let's go to our next news. Interest in these altcoins primed to explode as investors move beyond Bitcoin, according to Bitwise CIO Matt Hagen. Okay, Ethereum, Solana, and Polygon. I think we are going to see this sort of Cambrian explosion of activity built on Ethereum and other layer one solutions. I think investors are going to be looking at Ethereum. They are going to looking at Solana they are going to look at polygon and i think guys that they will look into avalanche they will look into also cardano uh, phantom and all the major layer ones and layer twos we are seeing a lot of investors who put their ton uh, in the water with bitcoin in 2020 2021 starting to realize there is more to crypto than just bitcoin if there is one biggest story for next year i'm going to be everything else it's going to be everything as it's going to be a crypto as decentralized finance a crypto as non-fungible tokens crypto as web 3.0 crypto as a metaverse so these are all narratives that was uh we are hearing from investors what is there beyond bitcoin that's what i'm most bullish about for 2022 i'm on the ethereum side i love all my children equally but if you pin me down ethereum was the asset of the year this year, I have a reasonable degree of confidence that it will continue to play that in the future. There is just so much positive activity taking place around the blockchain right now. So yes, yes, definitely. Just we can agree. Bitcoin could explode by 1000% from here, according to ARK Invest Cathy Wood. Here is how I like this picture. I like this design. Okay. We think the move by institutions into Bitcoin, if we were to choose Bitcoin, and that seems to be their first stop, could add 500,000 US dollars to Bitcoin's price. Yes, I think institutions are moving in the right uh, now crypto of any sort. They are dealing with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Crypto of any sort is a de minimis amount of percentage of institutional portfolios. The reason institutions are moving in is to some extent this is new asset class with correlations very different compared to other asset classes. The closest correlation to other assets in is real estate. And so Bitcoin and crypto is closest to real estate, not to, uh, to stock, but to real estate. And so institutional money managers have to look at the new asset classes that are evolving that have low correlations. Uh, that's the key, the key to diversification and if the holy grail in terms of asset allocation. Okay, let's listen to this. Let me ask you about, let me ask you about crypto, uh, which uh, there's, a, there's a, a, a piece out, I think maybe CBC even uh, talked to, uh, to money manage, managers and that is ripe in 75% of those polled, that's ripe for a major correction or a major uh, letting out of, of a lot of air in that in that sector does that sound like consensus uh, something to go the, the other way on to you or, or not well yes i believe it is uh, i think institutions are moving in and right now uh crypto of any sort uh, they're starting with bitcoin and ether crypto of any sort is a de minimis, de minimis amount or percentage of institutional portfolios uh, the reason institutions are moving in is, uh, to some extent, this is a new asset class with correlations very different uh, compared to other asset classes. In fact, uh, Yassine Almandra did a, a study on this and found that the closest, and we did it with Bitcoin, uh, the closest correlation 
uh, among or, or to other assets was real estate. Uh, and so institutional managers have to look at new asset classes that are evolving that yeah. have low correlations. That's that's the key to diversification and it's the holy grail, grail in terms of asset mm -hmm. allocation. So we think that the move actually it, by institutions into uh, Bitcoin, if we were to choose Bitcoin, and, and that seems to be their first stop, uh, could add $500,000 to Bitcoin's price if they moved into the tune of roughly 5% over time. So institutions could add 500,000 US dollars to the Bitcoin price, just the institutions without retail. Next piece of news is Bitcoin analyst Plan B says 69,000 US dollar is not at the top for the cycle. Here is his latest outlook. I don't think that 69,000 US dollar was the top for this halving cycle. If 69,000 the top, then a typical bear market 80% drawdown bring the bottom to 14,000 below 2017's all time high 20,000 and below 200 weekly moving average 18,000. Now that's never happened. And in my opinion, will never happen. And this is the 200 day moving average. And this is the stock to flow model. Okay, so let's go to our next news. But um, here is what's next for Bitcoin as BTC struggles below 50,000, according to two top crypto analysts. Guys, we are we are we are above 50,000 now. Okay, cool. Lower high is almost certain. It's almost inevitable. Like we are going to hit some sort of lower high compared to 70,000 US dollar area. And after that, if we hit a lower low, that's when I'm very bearish. If we have sort of higher low, then I am bullish. So if we sit a higher low, then we can turn to bullish. For now, the overall bullish market structure is still intact to me. Bearing some unforeseen circumstances in the macro environment, then I still believe Bitcoin is still bullish. So. What do I view for the price action of Bitcoin over the next few weeks? I think that we just chop. I mean, after you see a big, big move done, generally it takes a while for bottoms to form. Generally speaking, the bigger the move done, the more consolidation is needed. So the move done was, was huge and more consolidation is needed. Okay, and so who is this crypto analyst? Altcoin Sherpa. So guys, Altcoin Sherpa. Uh, great thoughts next piece of news is lightning networks bitcoin capacity tripled in 2021 the second layer network has grown significantly in bitcoin capacity over the course of the year okay payment channels on the lightning network hold 3100 btc today as opposed to 1000 btc in january it's almost tripled so tripled cool the Lightning Network's growth coincides with a surge in demand for quick and inexpensive Bitcoin payments. So guys, definitely, I think uh, lots of payment providers will integrate Lightning Network. So next piece of news is why Bitcoin creator, quote, Craig Wright came out ahead despite having to pay 100 million. How Wright may have come out ahead. So, uh, <clears throat> Craig Wright uh, states that he is Satoshi Nakamoto, the Bitcoin creator, but uh, I don't think so. And many other people don't think so. So this is the news. I don't waste too much time on this. Let's go to our next news. Yes, SEC chairman, the US regulator chairman, Gary Gensler, Bitcoin competes with the US banking system. So guys, Bitcoin is huge. Bitcoin is competing with the US dollar. Bitcoin is an off the grind alternative to traditional financial system, Sec uh, Chairman Gary Gensler said. Gensler said former SEC Chairman Jay Clayton on Wednesday to talk about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and NFTs. Issuers should come within the investor protection remit to launch a spot BTC ETF in the US, Gensler said. Cool. Okay. Whilst 
US dollar, the euro and the yen and most of the public companies are digital, he asserted. Okay, security markets. Uh, okay. So, uh, if you want, just read this through. I don't uh, think that this is uh, a final thoughts and we'll see more and more um, uh, regulation to come, but good regulation. Next piece of news is rich dad, poor dad, Robert Kiyosaki inside insists depression in coming predicts gold, silver, Bitcoin, real estate will crash too. So he thinks that everything will crash and crash and and the dep depression coming gold silver bitcoin real estate will crash too ready to buy more gold silver bitcoin real estate after crash has crashed <laughs> so the crash has crashed and then buy time to get richer after fake inflation crashes uh biden to step down soon he predicted so we'll see but uh uh, this crash maybe will come but uh, Robert Kiyosaki is always talking about crashes so I was on his seminar 10 years ago and also he expected a crash that time so next piece of news is Bitcoin enjoys regulatory certainty but on coins face this danger according to MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor I think the big winner of the congressional hearing hearings is Bitcoin it's pretty clear that there is consensus at the congressional level in support of crypto. It's pretty clear that investors want to invest in the new digital economy. Bitcoin is universally acknowledged as common property and not a security, so there is no regulatory overhang on Bitcoin. If you want digital property as a long-term store of value, then every nation in the world, China, Europe, and the United States, they all acknowledge that Bitcoin is digital property. It's not a security. There is a lot of questions about how other security tokens will be resolved and the crypto exchanges and DeFi, decentralized finance. Obviously, obviously, there is a lot of enthusiasm for it. There is a lot of pressure to move forward with regulatory clarity. I think it will happen. But in the meantime, I think the one takeaway that any reasonable investors could have is that Bitcoin is here to stay. There, there really isn't any regulatory uncertainty around Bitcoin status as a property, a community as a store of value. I think it's a mistake to characterize any of the crypto, cryptos as currencies. They really should be thought of a crypto assets. Bitcoin is a crypto asset. It's property. It's not currency. So Bitcoin and crypto are uh, properties, not uh, currencies. Do the dollar is a currency. The digital dollar is a digital currency the cbdc's i think that the digital dollar is destined it's time to collapse the hundred weakest currencies in the world and the us dollar which is currently the reserve currency of the world of uh, 20th century banking rails it's going to be reserve digital currency of the world on 21st century crypto rails the united states need needs the digital dollar we need stable coin to spread Yes, that's true. The only thing that's uh, certain by Bitcoin is gold. Who is what's happening? People are exchanging their weak currencies for strong currencies. Gold is a weak property. What uh, you want to do is hold a strong property that's going to appreciate in value least at the rate of monetary inflation. So interesting stuff that he thinks that gold is a weak uh, property and Bitcoin is a good property. Next piece of news is Free Arrows Capital buys 100,000 Ethereum in deal worth nearly half a billion dollars days after its CEO, Zoo, trashed Ethereum. <laughs> okay, Zoo's firm didn't sell Ether. You are welcome. So, Ethereum layer one solution still unusable for newcomers. Show it uh, to your grandma if you don't believe me. I will still bid in the hand of any penny dump like this weekend. Obviously, 100,000 Ethereum is dust for what it's worth. More coming. So he, he just uh, bashed Ethereum and now turned out that they bought uh, a, a big amount of Ethereum, almost half a billion dollars. Yes, I have Abaddon Ethereum despite supporting 
it in the past. Yes, Ethereum has abandoned its users despite supporting them in the past, he said. And now they purchase. They have to pay 100,000 yeah, yeah, and the gas fees. Okay. Are you on your own? Okay. So <laughs> really funny. So they, they crashed Ethereum and now they bought Ethereum. This is how it is. This is a Welsh game. Binance plans to become a registered UK firm despite regulatory setbacks. So this is good. Also, uh, the European um, headquarter for Binance will be in Ireland, uh, but the UK is not in the European Union anymore. So that is uh, why they will uh, ask for an FCA um, FCA um, what's this? So FCA license. Okay, next piece of news is Japan to propose restricting stablecoin issuers to banks and wire transfer companies. So Japan don't uh, doesn't want to allow stablecoins like uh, uh, stablecoin issued by Circle and 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 other, but they want uh, stablecoins that issued by banks and licensed uh, uh, licensed banks and payment providers. So. Uh, we we'll see, but uh, I think also it can be a good news. Sophia AI robot to be tokenized for metaverse appearance. 100 intelligent NFTs will be auctioned uh, in Binance on December 16 as Sophia takes a trip into the metaverse. Guys, so if you let me go to Binance. You find a, 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 a referral link to Binance in the description and uh, buy this. NFTs. We hope Sophia being AI will bring together humanity and technology to help human attain our true nature of uh, unconditional pure possibilities. Yes, Coinbase triggers massive price release for seven altcoins after launching sudden crypto listing spree. So seven altcoins. Uh, what are the seven altcoins? Polka Starter, Most Carbon Credit, and what else? Super. Uh, NFT, yeah, Bell, Fox from Shapeshift. Yes, congratulations to them. Next piece of news is Shiba Inu. Only 59% of initial supply of Shiba is still in circulation. Guys, remember that uh, Vitaly Buterin burnt uh, uh, almost uh, half of the uh, supply and also sent to an Indian relief uh, fund. Uh, a, a portion, but uh, most of the Shiba Inu coins are, are burned forever. Okay, let's go to our uh, next news. Virtual land uh, adjacent to Talks Sandbox is it stands for 450,000 in Ethereum. Okay, the popular American rapper Snoop Dogg revealed at the end of September that he acquired land in the blockchain with virtual metaverse, the sandbox, and had plans to uh, recreate his mansion. Yes, uh, the sandbox had a Snoopverse land sale, which allowed participants to purchase land adjacent to the famous hip hop star's virtual estate. Cool, and uh, we are going to, par to party. Uh, in his mansion. So next piece of news is David Abner says that 2022 will be the year of the physical Bitcoin ETF. Yes, guys, hope so. The SEC is taking these progressive steps to move us forward. I, th I thought we, we are going to be there by the end of this year. I'm still very bullish. I think they are just short of waiting to take the next step. They are potentially looking for some greater, clearer regulatory guidelines around the industry so maybe we see that it's quarter one of the then we see an etf right after it i think there is a little bit of movement that direction so guys for now we have futures etf in the us this is not real this is not banked with real bitcoins so hope we will see a spot bitcoin etf in the US very very soon so guys let's go to our charts and uh, let's see what bitcoin uh, so this is the ethereum chat so Ethereum just did lower low. So these uh, candles here on uh, 10th of December looks not so good because that was a lower low on the daily chart. So, but if we would able to uh, go back uh, about this trend line, that would uh, ma make uh, Ethereum um, bullish. But for now it's consolidating. 
and also let's check what Bitcoin is doing. So Bitcoin is back above 50,000, but still in the downtrend, you see we have this huge downward trending channel and still there, and we have several uh, resistance almost at 52 and 53,000 US dollar. So we see if we can go, but bottoming out, maybe take more time and also Bitcoin will revisit uh, 46,000 in this bottoming formation. Okay, we, we already talked about uh, uh, Ethereum and now the chance that uh, uh, Ethereum against Bitcoin, uh, the price came down and doing a retest of this breakout, but it's good. You see most of the other coins are looking really uh, pretty good. So nice uh, upward, trend, upward trending movement and uh, they are correcting. So lots of coins was in negative on Friday and uh, and yesterday but now good to see that coins are back and also shiba is trying to do a breakout attempt uh, so it's kind of breakout attempt here sandbox is doing well also uh, it kind of breakout that's happening on sandbox cardano still in the downtrend but hope that was the bottom and the bottom is in gala so that a nice breakout from gala nice breakout from gala yes guys this looks really good for me so let's uh keep short long long okay so this is how it is cool it looks really good so guys uh almost this is for today uh be sure to uh come here and uh, watch out for uh, watch out for uh, the Corion X farms, so you can uh, provide liquidity on Uniswap in Corion X BNB and Corion X BUSD pairs and earn up to uh, two hundred and fifty percent APRs. And if you are holding Corion X on uh, ARC uh, twenty version of Corion X, then you can earn up three hundred and thirty percent APR. Uh, and also uh, for single staking 100%. So definitely come and enjoy our farms. So guys, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Please smash those like, push the bell, notification on, share this video with your friends and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Enjoy your Sunday and Monday.